So I recently got a new mouthpiece, and the mouthpiece is metal. It's the LaBelle Studio 8-star mouthpiece. And Fred LaBelle makes great mouthpieces. As a matter of fact, Candy Dolph replaced his mouthpiece. Well, I've been playing it for about a month or two, and I realized that it's starting to get a little black stuff on there. It looks like black soot almost, and I did some research, and it is tarnish. Now, tarnish is when oxygen reacts with the actual makeup of the mouthpiece. Now, the finish of the mouthpiece itself will start to get tarnished after a while, and it's just kind of like a natural thing. It just depends on what your mouthpiece is made of, but definitely it will get tarnished if it's silver, nickel or you know brass with a little bit of gold plating which this mouthpiece is now once you realize that it's tarnished and you want to get it back to its original prime you're sitting there like what in the world how can i get my mouthpiece to look like it used to look without messing it up or doing something dangerous to it or ripping off the finish or taking some brillo pads to it i've seen a lot of things done especially with brass mouthpieces but this is how you get your alto saxophone mouthpiece or your metal mouthpiece or any kind of finished metal mouthpiece back to its original prime from a tarnished look. Now I did some research online and Theowani is one of the only manufacturers who actually have a little mouthpiece cleaning kit if you will and it looks very sterile it looks like it has some goodies inside so when you open it up it looks very plush it has this nice little ceiling cap at the top it's almost like you can put almost anything you, can, you want to in there and it'll be sterile first off it comes with this cleaning cloth now this cleaning cloth is like the bee's knees when you open this cleaning cloth it's like a book at first i was like oh i'm just cleaning with the outside the outside the outside but once i got into it i noticed that hey this has you know two separate rags on the inside it has a sewn seam in the center and what that sewn seam does is it 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 bonds two different um two different types of fabric together first you have that outer fabric which is more cotton more fuzzy a little softer than the inside cotton but that inside microfiber cloth it feels like cotton and when you go to scrubbing with it it's really a buffing rag that's what it's used for but it's really thick and it has exactly what you need and all of that's in one cloth it's sewn together and it really it seems as though they put the actual buffer in mind if the buffer was here what would he want to do what how would he want to use this so not only can we use the you know outside of the rag the the darker side of the rag uh for soft you know just buffing you know just cleaning off but you can use the inside of the rag for some real serious you know polish removing you know just like what you see on like a car show or something like that so definitely it has the buffer in mind with this rag now the next thing on the list is this um it's like a mouthpiece cleaner it's like a fuzzy you know pipe cleaner thing now usually you'll see these with other saxophone cleaning care kits you'll see this little fuzzy thing that helps you it's in the shape of a triangle and you push it in and out of your mouthpiece to get the gunk and grime off your mouthpiece but this one is just a tad bit different and you know what i tell you about these small details these small details mean a world of a difference when it comes to cleaning and making sure things are not destroyed so the small detail that's different on this little triangular little fuzzy mouthpiece you know scrubber it does not scratch your mouthpiece so the next thing on the list is the actual spray can itself. Now the spray can itself, it cleans, it deodorizes, and it sanitizes the mouthpiece. So it does kind of like all in one kind of thing going on there. Now, when you're using it, you want to use it sparingly because it does spray quite a bit out when you're spraying it, but it doesn't stink. It doesn't have like a, a, a tremendous odor, if you will. It's very, very, you know, it's very, very clean. It's very, very, you know, easy on the lungs, if you will. So that's very nice. It has a nice coating, just like the outside of the can. It looks very sterile and it looks, you know, it has that metal, you know, metal finish on the actual can itself. So maybe that helps the temperature. Maybe that helps something in the actual preserving of the actual, you know, the, 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 the solution itself. This spray, this whole kit 
it's meant for hard rubber. It's meant for almost any mouthpiece that you can think of. And that's the beauty of this kit. You don't have to sit here and be like, oh, I have metal mouthpieces and I have hard rubber mouthpieces. You can use this for all mouthpieces and it doesn't mess up any finish. It doesn't do anything harmful to your mouthpieces. Whereas a lot of people get that question, you know, especially with used mouthpieces and used instruments and they get used, used material that they want to clean it. And they're like, oh, well, you know what? I can just use hot water and then on a hard rubber mouthpiece, hot water and toothpaste on a hard rubber mouthpiece will really deteriorate and break down that finish until it looks like something grody and nasty. And you're like, what the heck did I do to this mouthpiece? And you don't know that the chemical structure of toothpaste, the acidity of toothpaste and all this other stuff really, really wears down that hard rubber mouthpiece. And you would never know on a metal mouthpiece because you're too scared because <laughs> your hard rubber mouthpiece got destroyed by the toothpaste. But... On the other hand, I've seen some people do other things with their mouthpiece cleaners, you know, home remedies, things like toothpaste. And I've seen people use Brillo pads, which seem to be very, very, uh, how do I say, harsh. Now, when I was cleaning this mouthpiece, I started to think, I was like, hey, I got the tenor mouthpiece and I have the, the new LaBelle mouthpiece. So I have that tenor Dukoff, Dukoff D7. Uh, it's a very bright mouthpiece. Um, it's made by Dukoff. Um, I believe it's more of a pewter type of material, but I'm pretty sure if we can do um, gold plating that we can do the pewter or whatever Duke Off makes their metal mouthpiece out of. All in all, guys, when you get this mouthpiece kit, it's very, very fun to actually use. It's fun to use. It looks like somebody actually put time into making it. It was made with a saxophone player in mind or the trumpet player or whoever else wants to use this for any other instrument mouthpiece that's metal or hard rubber or almost any other type of uh you know material it's it's really an all-in-one type of thing it's not th not that expensive probably like 20 and change you know any online short store will have it you know but this is a nice break away from just that generic retail i'm going to go buy a care kit kind of a package why because those tend to just give you the bare bones like that, you know, that mouthpiece squeeze you a mouthpiece little pipe cleaner, which has that damaging metal wire in the center that is sharp and it cuts away at your mouthpiece instead of help cleaning it. It, you know, there's a whole bunch of things, you know, they give you a polishing rag, but that polishing rag doesn't have two separate ends where you can use the softer part and you can use the, the microfiber, a dense microfiber, you know, internal rag as well like this one it just gives you more and it makes you feel like you're empowered as a musician that you have something that will help you work to clean your instrument you know and i'm pretty sure this probably could work on an instrument as well you know because they're you know plated out of the same kind of material so all in all guys the one has done a great job with this mouthpiece cleaner i got it just for this episode but i'm going to use it more and more as you continue as we continue on here in project sax but this is devin from project sax wish you guys great sound Thank you.